Hi guys, what is up? It's AppSmart101 here, and in today's app review, I'm going to be reviewing for you DJ2 for the iPad and iPhone. But before I start with today's app review, I want to let you guys know to please follow me on Twitter for updates. As well as be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All you have to do is click that button down below that says subscribe. That will keep you notified here on YouTube when I upload a new video. It's completely free. All you have to have is an account on YouTube. Also, don't forget to click that like button down below or that thumbs up, whatever it is now. They change the YouTube layout all the time. That just lets me know that you guys enjoy my videos. I work hard on these videos and it takes me a while to produce them. So let me know that you guys enjoy them. Without further ado, we'll straight into the app review of DJ2. Alright, so here we are in the main menu of the application. You can see we have a bunch of different options. I'm just going to go over, over everything with you guys. I'm no expert at this application, but I do know most of the things. Okay, so you can see here I have two different tracks. How you would add new tracks to it is you click this little music icon on the side. You can play your uh, tracks that you've purchased through the iTunes store or anything as long as it's in your song folder. You see I have uh, the Cascade by the Prototypes. The only reason I'm playing this song is because uh, it's not copywritten, so I can play it without getting my channel deleted. Okay. So you can see I have that on both different, you could have different tracks here, but I just have the same uh, track on both. How you would fade in between tracks, if I wanted to play this side solely, I move it all the way over. If I just wanted it to play in the middle, like both of them, then I just click that, although I don't have this one going right now. So you can see I can fade it side to side. You see how that works? Okay, how I stop the music is just the plays here. You can go in between uh, whatever part of the song you want by just moving these cursors. You can have different parts on each one. Okay, uh, if we click here in this middle button, you can see we have different, uh, I guess you could say, effects that we have. We have DJ, Siren, Foghorn, Gunshot, Kick It, Hi-Hat. We have all different ones. You can see we have Essentials. That's what I was just playing there. We have Sound Effects, Dub Stack Pack. We can also get some new ones, although it will cost, unless you guys can get them a different way. So here is Song Sound FX. Let's play Dubstep Pack. Okay, so you can see those are some pretty cool effects. My personal favorite is Essentials though, so I'll just leave this on. Alright, let's go back. Okay, you can also have it on auto mix. If you guys wanted to change the effects of how it's playing, all you have to do is go click that little button there. You can change all these different things. I don't know what they mean, although you do have quite a few different objects, uh, options. You have tempo, sync, uh, you can change the beat, everything. Okay, so I'm just going to record here. Or I'm going to show you how to record. So all you do is you press this little button up here and then it starts recording. So we can start new recording now. Alright, so... I'm no GJ, so uh, please bear with me. Alright, change, change both a little. You can see us can switch here. You can see how, how I held that note out there, that was pretty cool. Alright, so I'm just going to stop the recording here. So we're going to play it.
so you can tell by the sound I'm no DJ although I do have a good understanding of what to do in the application I'm sure uh, a lot of you guys could do better than I can you can see we can open the, our recording in different applications although I don't have any installed that would allow me to do that we can also delete it I'll just delete it. Okay, so this has been my app review of DJ2. Overall, I give DJ2 four and a half stars out of five. It's definitely well worth all the money that you have to pay for this application. Two dollars is very cheap. Although right now it's on sale for 99 cents, so I definitely recommend you check it out. It's well worth every penny. I'd pay five dollars easily for this application, especially if you're into DJ. It's well worth it. If you're not really into DJ and you just like creating sounds, I definitely also recommend it because it's it's fun to just play around with. If you guys know what I'm saying. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for updates, as well as be sure to click that like button down below or thumbs up. It lets me know you guys enjoy my videos.